Hey everybody, welcome aboard. Captain Mike here. A few of you have asked me how I've been able to get Reshade to work with X-Plane 12. So I decided to put together this short video to just give you an idea on how I've been able to get it to work on all three of my computers. Um, your mileage may vary, so use this at your own risk. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your browser and you're going to go do a Google search for Reshade. And we're looking for reshade.me, which is right here. The very first one up at the top here. And we're going to click on Reshade to go to its website. And we're going to click on Download. And the latest version is 631. So we're going to click on Download. And it just downloaded that file and just put it into uh, my folder. So once we have that in our download folder, we're going to go ahead and we're going to run the program. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to run that reshade setup installer. So I'm going to left click on that and let it run. So now you're going to browse to your X-Plane directory. We're going to go ahead and find X-Plane 12 and we're looking for the X-Plane EXE file. And we're going to select that and as you can see it just added that into the mix here. We're going to click on next and we're going to use Vulcan and then we're going to click on next. And then you're going to select yes to allow the app to make changes. You will then be presented with this screen. Just make sure that the standard effects and the sweet effects boxes are checked and then select next and then select finish and that installs reshade into the X-Plane 12 folder and we're going to go take a look at that folder next now if we go into our X-Plane 12 folder you will see we now have a folder called reshade shaders and you'll see that there's also reshade INI, a reshade log file and a reshade preset INI file. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to go into reshade shaders and you'll see there's shaders and there's textures in here and we're going to go add another folder so we're going to right click on that and we're going to create new folder and we're going to name this preset So we have three folders in here, presets, shaders, and textures. Now if you're going to use my reshade preset, the INI file would go in that preset subfolder. So you would actually come in here and then you would drop my Swan Sim Night Lighting INI file in this folder. So the only thing left to do next is we're going to create a shortcut for X-Plane 12 that's going to allow Reshade to run. So now we're going to come down into X-Plane EXE file. We're going to right click on that and we're going to left click on create a shortcut. And that shortcut file we're going to open up now. So you're going to right click on that shortcut, go down into properties and left click. And if you take a look at let me bring that screen up for you. If you take a look at the target, for me it shows in parentheses the C colon backslash X plane 12 X plane EXE. And at the very end of that line where the quote mark is at the end, you're going to put in a space and then you're going to put in a couple of hyphens or the minus sign twice and then you're going to type in allow a l l o w you're going to put in an underscore so you're going to hold the shift button hit that same uh, minus and then you're going to type in reshade r e s h a d e and what you're going to do is you're going to hit apply and okay and that's going to save that shortcut. 
Now what you can do is move that shortcut to your desktop and when you run X-Plane with Reshade, you run it from that shortcut and you should be all set. Okay, let's say that you want to use My Night Lighting Edits. You don't have anything in presets. So you're going to go to xplane.to and download my uh, latest night lighting edits. As you can see here in the download folder. I'm going to left click on that. And I'm using Mike's latest reshade night lighting. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see here, there's a couple of presets in here. One of them is a JPEG. This is We don't want this one because this one is just a photo showing the settings. If you want to put them in manually, you can. But we're just going to right click on this INI file. We're going to copy it. I'm going to go back into your X-Plane folder, into your reshade shaders, go into presets, and then you're going to right click and then paste, left, left click on that, and it just put it inside that folder. Now from here we should be able to run that preset and get my effects for the night lighting. So let's go take a look at that. I just want to give you a heads up just in case you don't have all of the shader effects or the textures. Um, they can be found at this location right here. And you'll see the link coming across the bottom of your screen. So you can go download those and then just copy the shaders and textures into the appropriate subfolders inside X-Plane. Now if the install went as planned, X-Plane 12 as well as Reshade should work side by side. And as you can see, as X-Plane just popped up now, you can see Reshade 6.3.1 just popped up along with it. So now we're just waiting until we get uh, into X-Plane. Now with X-Plane up and running with Reshade, the first time that you run this, you're going to be presented with the option of running the tutorial by pressing the Home button. Um, it would be a good idea to run through the tutorial um, if you're not familiar with uh, Reshade but I'm going to skip this so we can move on to uh, setting up a few things. Now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to come into settings. Let me just open this up here. And what you want to do at the very least is come in here and set up a toggle to turn the effect on and off and I'm going to use the space bar because when you run the nighttime effect if you pop in here and during the daytime it's going to be blindingly white and you're not going to be able to see any of the menus so you're going to want to be able to turn that effect on and off and as you can see it already put the uh, the pad statements in for the effects as well as the texture if you wanted to run a startup preset automatically you could put it in here um, I don't run one because it, I don't know if I'm going to run daytime or nighttime. So back at the home page, you can see that my night lighting is already set up since I had the flight deck set up. But you would left click in here, just come in here and pick the lighting that you're going to use. Just double click on it and it's going to load. Then just press the home key and the uh, menu is going to disappear. And like I said with that space bar, I can actually turn the effect on and off just by doing that. So I hope you found this uh, tutorial uh, useful and it may answer some of the questions that you've had uh, from some of the individuals that have asked me to maybe put something like this together. Alright everybody, I'll catch you on my next run. Take care.